In this tutorial, you will learn how to turn on your iPhone and iOS 7. No, wait. We meant how to add apps to iPhone, but it's just as easy. Let's have a look. The App Store, a central piece of your home screen menu, is there, longing and silently waiting to deploy one of its 1.25 million apps, free or less so, to your mobile device experience. We therefore tap the App Store app to launch it. Here you can choose, can't you? Anything that the free market of apps is offering. Keep an eye on the featured section. We will choose one that we are very proud of. Tap the search field to enter your desired app. Tap install to get a local copy and prepare to have the balance deducted from your card if the application is not free. Wait for the app to load and install. When you search for certain apps on Apple Store, say, planning apps or dictionary apps, you'll be presented with a lot of choices. In some cases, literally hundreds of choices. So, how do you make sure that you're choosing the best? If the app is a version of a well-known program like Evernote or Photoshop, it already gives it extra credibility. You can safely choose it. If the app is something new and comes for free, you can always download it on your iPhone test it for a couple of days, and delete it if you didn't like it. Last but not least, we will mention an old-fashioned way of installing apps via iTunes, which might be handy if, say, you like to keep everything in one place, or if you have more than one iOS device that you want to install an app to. By going to the store section of iTunes and searching for your app of choice, you can then click the app, click Get App, and download the app locally, then drag and drop it onto your connected iOS device, or click Sync to install it. Congratulations! You've just learned about the various ways of adding apps to your iPhone. This was a How Tech tutorial. Like us on Facebook, love us forever, or leave us a comment here in the fields below. Thanks for watching.